Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1979. It says, let P and Q be natural numbers such that the fraction P over Q equals the given alternating series. Prove that P is divisible by 1979. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The weak spot in these kind of alternating series is that all the terms that are, uh, that are having the minus sign are fractions um, 1 over some even numbers. So I'm going to rewrite this to um, regroup the even terms and see what we can obtain. So P over Q by definition is this expression, like summing all the odd terms first up to 1 over 1, 3, 1, 9, minus all the even terms, up to 1 over 1, 3, 1, 8. So now after regrouping, the first half, all the adding terms are actually hard to, um, hard to manipulate because um, it's neither some kind of harmonic series, uh, nor it's like anything um, special. So I'm going to add Put add in some um, even terms so to make all the fractions like the denominators to be consecutive. So I'm going to add one over two, one over four, etc. into it into this into this part. So it becomes a finite harmonic series one plus one over two, one over three, one over four, all the way to one over one three one nine. And then to balance the whole whole expression, I need to subtract that back. As in, I'm going to minus double of the even terms. Now, coincidentally, this, this uh, factor of 2 will cancel out with the denominators, with all the even denominators, and it will become... Let me first copy the first half. Minus um, is actually 1 plus... Oh, it's a, there are lots of um, mistakes here. Um, 1 plus 1 over 2, 1 over 3, all the way to 1 over 6, 5, 9. And now I'm, I have two finite harmonic series with me, and I'm going to cancel them out. So um, this expression now becomes um, fraction starting from 1 over 660, 661, all the way up to 1, 3, 1, 8, and 1, 3, 1, 9. So this expression um, looks fine, but um, we're still uh, quite far from what um, we have to achieve, is that we have to be make sure that the numerator is divisible by 1979, this number. But we, don't, we couldn't even see the number um, from our it's, um, um, it's fraction series. So, uh, however, there's actually some way to um, tackle that, which is to consider the first term and the last term and the second term pairing with the second last term, etc. Because this sum, if we rearrange it that way, then I'm going to get, uh, if I'm going to rearrange in this form, Now this is a bit uh, not uh, rigorous enough. I'm going to um, arrange that um, in kind of in a better way. Um, in fact, uh, for the last two terms should be, the last pair should be this. And so I can now rewrite that as a summation. Say this all the way to 989 of the form 1 over k plus 1 over, and in fact, the second fraction within the pair is actually 1979 minus k. Now, if I, if I treat it this way, then it will become k times 1979 minus k, and the numerator is exactly 1979. Now I can take out the 1979 and the summation is just another bunch of fractions, one of the form 1 over k 
k times 1979 minus k. Now, if I really do the addition, notice that um, this number, 1979, this magic number, is actually a prime. It's a prime number. So all the terms at the denominator that are of the form k or 1979 minus k, ranging k from 6600 to 989, they, are, they all do not contain the prime factor 1979. So when I add the fractions, I have a very, very large um, denominator. I have a very, very large numerator. Say I'm going to get the fraction a over b, some natural numbers a and b, that are called prime. I can tell that B does not, uh, I should say, 1979 does not divide B. So that means uh, this is actually the uh, most simplified, uh, the simplified form of the fraction. So therefore, the numerator P must be divisible by 1979. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.